wherever you're watching. My name is Pastor Lara Obiwumi, pastor in charge of the Redeemed Christian Church of God's State of Mercy and the Visionaire for Kingdom Jobs International. Today is our blissful home talk again, where we talk about our homes. What can we do in case of problems? What can we do to make our homes heaven and earth? Today, my topic is get help. Get help. Let us pray. Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. Because you are the almighty God, the beginning and the ending, the one that can make way where there seems to be no way. Father, Lord God Almighty, we pray that our homes will be heaven and earth. Everything that troubles us, Father, trouble them in return in Jesus' name. Let our homes be peaceful. Let our homes be blissful. Every activity of the enemy in our homes, we put it an alt today in Jesus' name. Thank you for you hear us always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, get help. We'll look at the book, Bible passage. The Bible Psalm 147 verse 3. It says, The Lord heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. So when we say get help, we are talking about when there are situations in homes that are beyond uh, our ability, maybe mother and child, uh, husband and wife, father and child, however, when we need to get help, we cannot but get out and get help. What do I mean by that? What do I mean that you cannot get, like I, you see the Bible passage I read, it said the Lord rescues those who are, uh, the, let me go back. He says the Lord heals the broken hearted and bandages their wounds. And if we look at Psalm 34 verse 18, the Bible says the Lord is close to the broken hearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. One way or the other, sometimes in life, we pass through fire. Sometimes in life, we pass through rivers of this uh, world. Sometimes in life, we walk through the water. It is nothing, there is nothing wrong in you trying to get help when you need help. There are times you have problems that are physical, that you need to get physical help. Prayer is, a, is, uh, is um, uh, something that whether everything is good or not, you pray. That's why I always say that at the, end, at the top of every home, should be the Lord Jesus. So if you are not born again and you are listening to this message today, I'm encouraging you that you should give your life to Jesus. Because if with Jesus in the family, it's a happy, happy home. But I want to tell you, brethren, that sometimes people get sick. People get sick physically. People get sick emotionally. People get sick mentally. And people get sick even because of the situation around them. If you need to get help, it is not a shame. I want to use depression as a way. I mean, something to just tell us that things happen. It can lead to depression. Depression can be caused by, um, because you have physical health problem depression can be caused by situations that happen maybe when somebody is hit with um you are disappointed your husband or your wife has done something that is beyond what you can cope with maybe cheating whatever or you find out something that is that a, a secret that you ought not to, it can lead to depression and also there, apart from you have a medical illness that can lead to depression, also the brain can just click and it can lead to depression. So if you find yourself in a situation that you don't feel like getting up in the morning, you don't feel like going to where you go to, you are sometimes you are you, you are not happy, you are down, you are weak, get help. There is it is if somebody who has AIDS 
somebody who has um, diabetes, somebody who has cancer can get help. If you are depressed, you can get help also. All these are illness that they are not things that are caused by yourself. You will realize that this is so because some people will go through what you go through and pimp the next day they get up, they are going. When you are depressed, it is not something that will go away with time. You need counseling. You need love around you. You need people trying to make things better, not worse. I am saying this because it is not even only depression, but I'm just using that as, a, as my case study. If you, if you are married to somebody that is always making a case of nothing, after a while, you get used to being abused, being spoken to anyhow, you need help. That is why some people are cancelers. When you have problem with your home, there are married counselors that can help you out. But when that thing is not affecting more than just that problem, you may need to see a psychologist or mental health counselor. I know when I say mental health, people will be start running. Yes. There are mental health counselor that can tell you, okay, at this time, keep quiet. You need to have a coping skill. What are the things that you love to do that when you, when that can get you out of bed and things like that. I am just telling us that um, when somebody is suffering from any illness, no matter what it is. Maybe a mom has just headache or mom is not happy because dad was angry in the morning or dad is not happy. It affects everybody in the home or everybody you come across. So if the home is not functioning well, it affects the society. That is why when you need help, get it. If there is marital problem, you people are not coping well, or you are not understanding each other, or communication is a barrier, is a problem, look for a counselor. The counselor can be your pastor. The counselor can be somebody who uh, both of you respect. It can be... A professional counselor seek help. It is because most homes don't seek help on time. That is why it is before anybody we know there is a problem in the home, it has gone beyond almost beyond repairs. When you feel sick in your body that you don't understand what is going on. The earlier you seek help, the better for you. Because when you wait till that thing ties you down, it would have gone too far at that time. That is why you, you see that they tell, always tell people, um, do uh, your test, test your body, uh, uh, so that it, they will dictate anything early. If you realize your mood suddenly change. You are not as happy as you used to be and so on and so forth. Get, check yourself. And if you need help, get help. Also, prayer works, like I said. But there's a place for prayer. There's a place for counseling. Because Sometimes we don't understand. If you go to the wrong counselor, my worst in the case. Like I said, if your loved one is depressed, whether you are the husband or the wife or the parent or the child, you notice something different, that this person is not the person they used to be. 
get help quickly. Because depression, most of the time, leads to either mental health or suicide. If it is not taken care of. Because the person will just go deeper and deeper and start saying, I'm bothering everybody. I am, I think I should, if I'm not here, the world will be better. So the earlier one finds help, the better. And also, when some if somebody gets into depression and solution is not, help is not sought quickly, the person must start using substance like drugs, like alcohol. And by the time the person gets there and says, oh, it is this alcohol or this substance that makes me high, that makes me feel better, the person gets addicted. Then the trouble gets worse. I don't know where you are. I don't know who you are that the Lord is talking to, the Holy Spirit is talking to today. It is not a sin. To seek help. To tell somebody how you are feeling. In your body. In your brain. And so on. And something I want to bring out of again. Is that. Before now. Before some time back. I used to think that, oh, if you, are, if you are doing any substance, if you are doing drugs or you are smoking or you are drinking, it is something you can just get up and say, I'm not doing it again. But recently, I, I got to school and realized that the brain functions, its illness, its sickness for if somebody is an addict concerning whatever you are addicted of, sex, whatever. So you need help to get out of it. You need spiritual help. You need physical help. You need a counselor to talk you out of those situations. It takes time, but you can do it. Also, parents, siblings, spouses, we need to help each other. When we discover anybody in the family is going through instead of fighting and being hard on them we should show them more love and get help you see i keep saying get help i don't know why this is the topic the holy spirit chose for today but wherever you are when you hear this message share it with anybody you know that could be needing help some people will be married and all they do is fight, 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 fight. And you'll see such a person getting angry at everybody they see. That is depression setting in. That is problem affecting the society. So, the Psalm, um, Psalm 42, 5 to 6 says, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. When you are discouraged, when your heart is so sad, you need to put your hope in God. But there are so many things that you need to be, I mean, to be, uh, to, to, uh, be that you need to uh, be encouraged of, that God is able. If somebody is has been in depression or in a state of anguish for so long, then you that you are with the person in the house have to go extra length to help. And you have to go get help for the person. You are supposed to love them more, understand how they are feeling. Instead, of fighting. Why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Then you have to go to a doctor or a counselor. Like I said, there are, like, if it is depression, my case study, it could be the, the brain shifting just a little from where it's supposed to be. And if the brain shifts, 
medication can do it surgery can do it we don't want to wait till it leads to something else when somebody is medically ill it can lead to depression when someone who is constantly in pain or so will be thinking why am i bothering everybody see my mom is running around see my husband it can lead to depression if that is the case you need clinical and um uh, counselor also you need a doctor and if the reason you have depression or you are down is because um something happened you need a counselor there are there are times that even when it is something happened you still need medication but well, i'm just telling us that the first step is to see a doctor, a counselor. The doctor will prescribe antidepressant for the person, especially when it has gone for a while before you notice it. And if the uh, if the depression happens to have a biochemical root, then the medication can be helpful. It can be, but it may not be. It depends. But what I'm saying is, let's leave drugs out of it now, but because I'm not the doctor, I'm just telling you that if you have, if you find yourself in any situation, maybe in your body, maybe your home is not blissful, there is problem, seek help and seek it early. Don't wait till everything is worse before you start saying eh, when it was happening and I thought and I would be. Mm -mm. I pray that the Holy Spirit will teach us what to do when we need help and direct us to the best help. Don't go and tell people, don't go and be doing a pity party. You see, seek help. God will help us. If your partner, your child is sick, Mentally, physically, it is not a sin. Seek help. God will help you as you do so. We will not be sick in Jesus' name. And we will not die untimely in Jesus' name. Let us help ourselves. Let us help people around us. And uh, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Lara Obiwumi. Share this um, message. You don't know who needs help. That should seek, go out and seek help. There are married counselors. There are mental health counselors. There are pastors who can pray for us and so on and so forth. But don't die in silence. There are solutions out there. God bless you in Jesus' name. See you next week. If Christ tarries.